We cannot look back years from now and wonder why we did nothing in the face of real threats to our security and our economy. Shortly after President Obama's State of the Union address, his administration freed 2,000 of the most dangerous illegal aliens detained in U.S. jails. While lawmakers work to fix the border security situation, one filmmaker says we won't find the answer in D.C., so he went down to the U.S.-Mexican border to prove it. We've got all units now. Everybody's lights on, everybody's blocked. He's pushing them, he is pushing them north. Sixty plus. Yeah. In one group. Yeah. Yeah. It's plenty busy. Uh, joining us right now is the director of They Come to America Two. Dennis Michael Lynch is back with us. Dennis, you went back to do a follow up on your first why? Uh, because I knew what the truth was, and I didn't feel as if I got it right the first time. I had to get it right the second time. I got it right. Everything that you've been seeing on television, everything, is wrong compared to what it is you'll see in this film. And it's because you would never send your cameraman where it is that I go. Everything is coming through that border, Brian. And when I say everything, I'm talking about terror at its worst level. And that's coming from a guy who witnessed 9-11 firsthand. I'm catching Middle Eastern people in the desert working alongside the Border Patrol. You're finding signs written in Chinese. Our government's making those signs. These people are paying 50 grand to drug cartels to get in. See, I see you on one clip that you sent me where you said, there's no way that guy is Mexican. He is not Hispanic. He is, uh, he is Middle Eastern, and he had his head buried down. What proof do you have that they are? Brian, we're catching these people firsthand. Military hats with Arabic tags. It, it, look, what they're doing is they want to blend in. And it doesn't take a lot for Mohammed to transform himself into Miguel. So what they do is they get into these groups of 50 and 60 people. I mean, it is frightening. And I am telling you, the Border Patrol agents and the ICE agents, they're frightened as well because they can't do their job. They can't speak to the media. For immigration, this massive immigration bill to pass, they say this border has to be secured. How much would it take to secure that border? Oh, Brian, it's going to take a lot. But I'll tell you what. This immigration bill is the only thing scarier than that border. Because I am telling you, if this immigration bill passes, it's the end of America as you know it and I know it and these people watching know it. It changes everything and it can't be reversed. You're talking about a two-party system going down to one party. You're talking about unemployment lines going around the corner tenfold. And you're talking about people coming right. in here every day, Brian, who want to cut your throat, not cut your lawn. And you have Rudy Giuliani in this uh, Rudy Giuliani, as well. Congressman gotcha. Peter King. There is no, this is the silver bullet that can kill that bill, Brian. It's called, it's called coming, uh, They Come to America too. The Cost of Amnesty. Dennis Lynch, thanks so much. They have to go to theycometoamerica.com. And you can find out you more. Get a DVD, I send you four. You send them out to the congressmen and the senators. They call me. I'm telling you, we'll kill the bill. All right. Uh, thanks, Dennis. Appreciate it.